What's up guys, Dead Muskrat here. A few days ago, I went with one of the friends, Luca Brick Studios, to Fort Fun to do some fun old go-karting, since the first go-karting video did so good, and I'm hungry for views. Yay! Anyway, so this is the track. It has 13 turns, 8 to the left, 5 to the right. The fastest lap was by a random, which was 43 seconds, in point eight five three. Now that the cone is moved, we can start heading out, or not, because Luca's engine wasn't started up yet. Now we can head out. We were lucky enough to get in carts that are in first place and second place, with me starting in second and Luca in first. Almost right after we started, I was able to catch up to Luca, so I was constantly knocking into him. I'll speed it up now since nothing else really starts to happen, but I'll eventually slow it down when all the action happens within this race. Now my car started slowing down, so I was really confused, but all it was is that there was a wreck up ahead, but... Luca's car, weirdly enough, didn't slow down, so we just got to fly away from everyone, leaving everyone back in the dust. Nothing else really happens within the rest of the race, so I'm just going to speed it up from here as it starts to get faster and faster so we're now going 10 times the actual speed. Why I slowed it down here is because this is the only incident I saw actually happen on my camera. I'll show you it again real fast. So that guy got too worried about leaving me not enough space that he left too much space which is really nice from him but I feel bad for him crashing so now this will be the final speed up of the entire race because actually nothing else happens right after this point it's just me lapping a bunch of other cars and staying in second so thanks for the first part of the race that you watched it love you Well, I finished in second while Luca finished in first, so he got his first ever win in the first race. So that's really good for Luca. He got a 100% win rate at this track now. Now we're at race two, which is quite a bit later than race one, but it's still a race. But this time we got not as lucky as we start in the last two spots. Well, not last two. There's one person behind us, but we start in the extreme back half of the grid. Since I start all the way back here, I really need to get that race pace really up so we can actually gain some positions instead of staying all the way down in 12. finally made the position into 11th, so that's already one position gained within one lap. 
the person ahead takes a really bad line through turn three and four, so I gain another position and get right into 10th position. So we are right within the spot we want to be within the first two laps. I'm gonna speed this part up now since it's quite a long time and I get into the battle for ninth. But now here we are in the battle for ninth as I start bumping into fourth, number four, not four. Four car a lot because I'm going fast, slightly faster than him, but he has really good defending, which leaves me with no other options to go around or with anything else. So I have to keep bumping into him because I have no other choice where to go. As you saw a bit earlier, I almost hated him, so I decided to turn a bit to the left because I didn't actually want to crash anyone because that seems mean, so that's what happened back there. Now we get lucky as there's an incident ahead involving two cars. The person up in 8th decides to randomly go slow through there, so now we go all the way up into 7th in just one corner. So that is so many positions gained just in one corner. Now we are side by side with the number 4, so now we are fighting for 6th place better than any time before. So I make it finally into 6th through these groups of corners right near the end of the lap. Right as I go silent, there's a crash ahead and it's my boy, Luca. He got wrecked by a random person that he told me he was. Maybe he just crashed on his own, but I think someone wrecked him, so whoever that was, gosh darn dang you. Now I caught up to another driver which I most definitely do not know and I am up into 5th place on turn 6 on the other side of the track which is now up into 5th from 12th so that's still quite a good rise in positions. I'm gonna speed up the video from here since nothing else really happens except for me just trying to catch him but the race finishes right as I catch up to the person ahead, so I finish in fifth by then. So as I said earlier, earlier, my final position is in fifth, but that's still quite a good rise from 12th to fifth within just one race. Still not a podium, so not the higher positions, but still a good rise in positions from all the way back in the grid to more of the upper midfield of the grid, so... I personally congratulate myself, but I don't know what happened to Luca. All I know is that he finished above where he started, but that spin really defeated where he was going to finish. But thank you so much for watching the video. Subscribe to me, subscribe to Luca, like the video, and go check out some of my other videos and my other friends' channels, especially Key. He makes so good videos. You should watch, like, all of them. They are amazing videos. And he's also quite good at Minecraft. And he has a Twitch in which he'll actually respond to his viewers and not just ignore them and use them as money bags.